Marco Voter here from the Napa Medical Research Foundation. I just want to tell you about our latest uh, research findings. We just had our paper accepted to the Spying Journal, and it's uh, entitled Human Mesenchymal Stem Cells Promote Hyaluronic Acid Synthesis in the Pig Disc. So what that means is that we were able to demonstrate that we could take human cells, that's cells from our iliac crest, those are the bones at the back of our pelvis, and isolate them and put them in a disc. In this case we use pig discs uh, from uh, pigs that uh, were going to be used for food and we, we use those discs. And we were able to place the cells of humans inside those discs and we stimulate them with platelet-rich plasma, PRP. We wanted to number one find out whether we can get the cells to grow in there, whether we can get the cells to make a gel called hyaluronic acid. It's a gel that gives us a bounce to our discs. And also we wanted to know which platelet-rich plasma was better at doing this. Was it going to be the platelet-rich plasma with white cells or the platelet-rich plasma without white cells? So after a year and a half of work, it took us six months to just to figure out how to work the equipment. And then we did some experiments to try to get things to grow and didn't work right away and in the end we figured out a way to get everything to grow and after multiple experiments and uh, a year of work we were able to demonstrate that we could have cells grow inside the pig discs and the cells were able to make hyaluronic acid which is a gel and to our knowledge this is the first time this has been demonstrated in this type of model we also found that platelet rich plasma without white cells is better at stimulating the disc to do that and also the platelet-rich plasma without white cells allowed the cells to migrate throughout the disc. So they were able to populate different regions of the disc which was not happening in the disc that had the uh, stimulation with uh, platelet-rich plasma with white cells. So that uh, supports our clinical work where in the last five or six years we have been using platelet-rich uh, plasma without white cells with good results with 75% of our patients being 75% better, which is better than the studies in other places that are using platelet-rich plasma with white cells, uh, where 50% of the patients are 50% better. So we're excited about this work and look forward to doing some more work in the future.